Okay. Okay, so uh, now we're going to deal with the uh, muscles of the head and neck. So here on the posterior side of the head, the small muscle that we see right here is called the occipitalis. Now, please take note that your lab book refers to it as the occipital belly of the occipital frontalis muscle. I don't care which one you have or which one you use. I use occipitalis, okay? But you can use either one. You'll get more correct on both. So this is the occipitalis muscle. If we look on the anterior side, we see that this is called the frontalis muscle. And again, your book is going to call it the frontal belly, frontal belly of the occipital frontalis muscle. Again, either one is fine. I, again, call this frontalis, okay? On this side, this muscle right here is called the auricularis, okay? It's called the auricularis. The book also refers to it as the temporal parietalis. Again, either one, either one is fine with me. I don't care whether you call it tempor, uh, temporal parietalis or auricularis, that's fine. This is superficial. If you look right here, and you can tell this is superficial because you see the skull, which is deep, obvious. This on the opposite side, this muscle right here, is called the temporalis muscle. This is one of the muscles of mastication. Mastication means chewing. There are four muscles in total that allow you to chew. This is one of them. Again, it's called the temporalis muscle. Okay? We're going to go through the other ones in a bit. If we look on the posterior side, this muscle right here is called the trapezius muscle. You actually get a better view of the tra trapezius muscle on this model here. So this right here is the trapezius muscle. Okay, so here's the trapezius muscle. Just to take note, these are the su superficial muscles, these are the deeper, mu deeper muscles. Okay. So this again is that trapezius muscle that we just saw a second ago. Um, this right here on the shoulder muscle is the deltoid muscle, so the shoulder muscle here is the deltoid muscle. If we look at this muscle right here, this muscle right here is going to be attached to the mastoid process, which is here. It's also going to be attached to the sternum and to the clavicle. And that's why we come up with the term sternocleidomastoid muscle. So this muscle that you see right here, again, is called the sternocleidomastoid muscle. We've actually mentioned that muscle before um, when we talked about the anterior chain and posterior chain of lymph nodes. Next, as we go um, more anterior, this right here is going to be known as the pectoralis major muscle. Okay, so there's pectoralis major. If we take off the pectoralis major muscle and we go deeper, we have the pectoralis minor muscle. So here we have the pectoralis major and we have pectoralis minor, okay? If we look between the ribs, if everybody remembers, the term for ribs was costal, okay? These muscles in between, we have the external intercostals and the internal intercostals. So these are internal intercostals where the fibers run out and the ones that run in, the fibers that run are called external intercostals. So external and internal intercostals, external and internal intercostals, okay? This muscle right here is called the platysma muscle. That's, again, it's called the platysma muscle. Okay. Let me stop it. 